when the pandemic first started in, in the United States that a lot of companies turned to you know, distance learning and, and uh, video conferencing for, for business applications. And are there other areas that you're starting to see, you know, companies turn toward and, you know, ver- verticals or, or, or solutions that are, you know, kind of thriving a little bit because they, you don't have kind of the t- traditional, you know, going to concerts, going to restaurants, all that sort of thing. Yeah, there are a few. But one interesting point you mentioned, the uh, education kind of side of that, that's kind of been one of the reasons why we've seen a little bit of unevenness in sales, actually. There were a lot of pro AV investments by universities during like August, September, October, as they sort of, uh, especially September and August, as they ramped up their preparations to get ready to have either in person with a mixed virtual option, you know, students quarantine, they have to be able to still follow their class or pure virtual. So that created a push of spending in those spots that has subsided a little bit as we've moved into October into November as things have gotten steady there. Uh, so it's kind of interesting that like, that's a positive for AV, right? But it's kind of like a, a negative on ter- in terms of sales momentum and that like, it came in a big surge as the school year started uh, and then it's changed. And, and that sort of, that sort of solution kind of continues to change as you, there, you know, there is a different kind of solution for a mixed maybe class with just a few people remote versus a full remote class where the class is directly produced to go to an audience that's exclusively not there. Uh, so I, I think that that's actually one of the what places that you're seeing to uh, continuing to see some evolution is as solution areas figure out how to are, are, are exploring new balances between in person and virtual. Uh, that includes schools, that includes office work, that includes even sports. You know, where we're seeing like some outdoor stadiums with some people in it. You know, how the sound is managed, how the crowd noise is managed. It's evolving and that's in, uh, requiring additional AV investment, whether it's you know, actual new equipment or just, you know, talented AV staff who can keep things calibrated for whatever the soundscape and audience uh, layout is.